Let's go to James chapter 4, verse 4. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. Ye adulterers and adulteresses. What is adultery? Let's look it up. A voluntary sexual intercourse between a married person and a person who is not his <clears throat> or her spouse. So you are having sex with someone that is married that you are not married to. So both people can be married, but if they are not married to each other, that is adultery. Okay. So you men and women adulterers know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity <clears throat> with God. So what does it mean to have friendship of the world? What does that mean? Let me scroll down. What is to have friendship with the world or of the world? Meaning you are sinning. You are doing things that is not right with God. For instance, you are stealing, you are cursing people out, you are really hateful, you are really rude, you are really mean. You are doing things that the Bible tells you not to do. So when you do that, in other words, you have friendship with the world. So usually anytime when the Bible speaks about the world, it is going to be speaking about sinful things. So for you to be of the world, that is saying that you are being sinful. When it says that you are that you are of God, that means that you are doing things, you are following his rules and regulations. So if you are of the world, you are a sinner. You are persistently sinning, purposely. So now we know what it means to be of the world and of God. So ye adulterers and adulteresses, meaning you are having sex with people that you are not married to, but either one or both of you are married, but not married with each other. So pretty much one person is married and you are having sex with that person, but you are not married to that person. Know ye not that the friendship of the world, so don't you know that when you sin a lot, is enmity with God. So what is enmity? The state of feeling of being actively opposed or hostile to someone or something. So there is an issue. There is a problem. So if I was to say, I have enmity with you, that is pretty much saying that there is a problem between you and I. Like we can't get along, like either I am doing something or you are doing something to the point where there is an issue. The state or feeling of being actively opposed or hostile to someone or something. So there is a problem between you and I. Okay. <clears throat> know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God. So why do you have a problem with God? Well, from right here, it says 
the friendship of the world. So you have a problem with God because why? Let's make it pink. <laughs> know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God. So there is, you have a problem with God because of why? Because you are a friend of this world, meaning you are actively sinning. So when you are an active sinner, I guess you can say, there is an issue with you and God. So I pray that makes sense there. Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. So what does it mean to be a friend of this world? You are an active sinner. Because when you are of this world, you are a sinner. Meaning, so when the Bible speaks about being a friend of this world, in other words, it is saying that you are a sinner. And when you are a sinner, there is enmity between you and God. There is an issue. So, whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. So, you are an enemy of God when you choose to not serve him. Does that make any sense? I pray that it does. God bless.